welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to kill Budley, the tank at launch site. So there's two ways to kill Bradley: the rocket launcher or F1 grenades. And I usually use uh, the rocket launcher with high velocity rockets. So you, to kill it, you actually need seven, seven rockets. But I strongly suggest bring you just a little bit extra. You don't have to bring this many, but at least three to four more extra because if you miss that one shot, you have to go all the way back to your base and, and yeah. So um, so this is the spot I usually go to. So to this location here. Um, so you just run through here. I don't know what just happened. But, oh. um, so you just run through here. Grab this ladder. And then go. Ooh. That's embarrassing. So you go up here, up that ladder, walk through here, up this ladder here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it's pretty good cover, but for this video, I'm going to be in God mode just to show you because I don't want to keep healing. So where is it? It's over there. So you want to like hit him a couple of times, lure him over. They're quite easy to dodge because you can just hear it shooting and then you can just duck. So once he comes over, and I missed, awesome. The best way to shoot him is literally from this point here. to come towards you. Like when it starts to leave. So I go back here, maybe shoot a couple times. And then just try and just try and to attack you. It's quite easy, like when you're close enough it'll actually shoot you with its turret. And that thing hurts. I know there's other ways to um like to shoot it from different angles. It's actually better to do a duo. So one person distracts while you should do it. So there you go. Just like that. So when Bradley is extinguished, um, it'll drop three to four military grade crates. And they could hold up to Four, right? four to six items, I'm pretty sure, but they give you C4, L96s, M249. M249 is probably the best gun in the game, personally. personally I think that's the best gun. Um, you can get armored doors, rockets, C4, yep, and all that stuff. So. It takes roughly five minutes, I'm pretty sure. Five minutes to, for Bradley to get extinguished. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut to when Bradley is extinguished. Okay, uh, there's a little bit of fire, but it's all right. So, just one of the bullets. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> and this one has a shotgun. That is terrible. But usually there's M249s, so it's, it's always a chance. But yeah, this is probably by far the worst crates I've ever seen. In my life history. Um, so, when pretty much when Bradley cools down, you can hit it and it'll give you coal and metal frags. It, oh, and high core, sorry. Um, quite a bit as well. I'll, um, again, pause until Bradley's cooled down. It takes, yeah, I think it takes five minutes. 
rough environment for actual like the actual valley to cool down. It is worth getting because it gives you high fall. Yeah. So while we're waiting, I'm just gonna just show you a few things. So on the map when you kill Bradley and the heli, like the helicopter on Russ, um, it shows a mark here on the map and literally the whole server can see it. And that can be quite be really deadly. So I'd suggest doing this with your mates and all that. You can do it solo, but you gotta go on like like hidden spots, like maybe go up there, watch down, and see if anyone comes to it. But usually clans live around this area. Usually. Because it's such high tier loot. Obviously as you've seen, uh, the crates are terrible. But yeah, you, you just gotta watch out because yeah the whole map can see it. Uh, I'll cap until I can mine this. Alright, we can now mine it. So I will fast forward this and then I'll show you the results of what you got. Alright, there's your results guys. That is a lot of high fall. And if you do this a number of times, you just get stacks upon stacks. But like I said, you can use rocket launchers and uh, F1 grenades. I I would use rocket launchers because like I, like um, F1 grenades are cheap. You can buy them from Bandit. And I guess if you have a lot of people, you could actually pull it off. But I'd honestly, for me, I'd rather just use rocket launchers. But yeah, just like I said, you just gotta watch out for other people to counter you. And I'd recommend doing this in numbers, two to four, doesn't really matter, but the more the better. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, hopefully this helped. Peace out.